Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Mishura. Today we're going to tie a simple dry fly, and this is for the early season. You can actually see these flies when there's snow on the ground. And this is a little black stone fly. And like I said, this is a very simple fly. And the materials we're going to need is, I have some, I'm going to use some Antron dubbing here. And we're going to need black Antron dubbing. And then for the wing, we're going to use Grizzly Hackle. And we're going to take one of the hackles from the top of this. Those really long ones that you can only use for streamers or maybe use the tips of the wings for... Or the, the, the tip of the feather for atoms flies where you're going to just use the tip and we're also going to use a this is a very dark brown but a dark brown or black hackle just three simple uh, materials here I'm going to use a uh, black thread we're just going to start by putting a base of thread down hold that at that 45 degree angle and just spin away you could go rather quickly as long as you have that 45 and as you can see there's no spaces in there and we're gonna come back just about just past the point of the hook will be sufficient and we start out by putting on our black uh, dubbing this antron and antron it tends to be shiny and this also has a little bit of blue in there a little bit of sparkle in there and that blue really you don't need any kind of sparkle just plain you could just use rabbit hair black rabbit hair for your dubbing or black super fine but I'm just going to dub this on turn your uh, fly over so you could get room, have room to get your dubbing in there nice and close we're going to dub that on there and when you dub remember you only go one direction you go back and forth you're gonna put it on take it off put it on take it off so you just want to go in one direction get a nice tighter noodle there and Antron doesn't doesn't it needs a little extra to get it on to get it to stay on there we're just going to wrap our body and tie in this stone flies have longer bodies this is a size 14 hook you could tie these with a size 12 hook very very easily and that would be sufficient and I'm going to have to add more. And I have to pick it out. If you have these containers, you know that sometimes it goes in and you have to use something to dig it out of there. But that dubbing dispenser is really nice. You get like 12 colors right there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and dub this on and we're gonna stop about an eye length and a half from the eye of the hook you can really see that blue in there pretty good now but it'll be fine and these these early black stone flies you'll see them bouncing on the water and like any time from February to April and you just kind of have to get lucky to find this hatch and to get a good one that they're that the fish are actually uh, feeding on them pr pretty well I mean you gotta you kind of have to get lucky to get that hatch just right now I'm gonna take a uh, grizzly hackle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand these up 
I'm going to kind of see how long they are. Okay, that section in here is pretty good. We want them to be a little longer than the hook itself. But I'm just going to take these and I'm going to just tie this in right there. Put three relatively loose loops on there. Now I'm going to take this angle and I'm going to pull it through. And we want that that wing to go just to the back of the body. So if you go too far, like I just did, if you if you try pulling it back, it's not going to work. So you got to undo it. I'm actually going to move up a little bit further on it. I'm going to tie it in here. I'm going to put a couple, two or three wraps. I'm going to actually turn it towards me so I can watch it. And you want to keep that right on the top. And I want to keep get that till the body is right to the back there. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. And I'm going to trim off the excess. I'm going to get the stem. Now this here, you can fold this back and wrap on it. And that kind of secures, that's giving like the fold over double security there. I'm just going to take my, my scissors and cut off those, those short ones. They're just the fold overs. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim away. right at that end actually have a little bit there you can get that you don't want them to split I have one that split if you look right here but I'm gonna leave that but that's gonna be your wing right there there's one reason why I used a large wing so that you could get the right width on it trimming away some of that hackle there And I got a couple of them sticking out forward. There we go. Now I'm going to take my dark hackle. And then I'm going to grab myself a size 14 hackle. A single one. And we're going to prepare this like we do with uh, any uh, dry fly hackle. We're going to stand these up. When you're going with the dry fly, you want your hackle to have no more than one-third web. Let me push these all back again. This isn't a great one for an example. Here we go. I'll use this grizzly one as the example. And you can see here, you see this dark center piece? From there to there that's all web in there and then th these are stiffer ones out on the end the ones you can kind of see through the ones that you can't see through right there in the middle that's the web but with a dry fly hackle you don't want that web to be one more than one third the distance one third the length of that barbel one third or less is what you're looking for I'm going to go ahead and stand those up. I'm going to give this the haircut. We can hold our our feather this way and give it the haircut from this direction. And we get a nice tight, uh, nice tight crew cut there. There we go. Now I'm going to tie this in. See this is a little bit long there so I'm going to trim just a little bit off there. We're going to tie this in with the 
backside or the concave side to the hook shank. And when I tie this in, I'm going to leave one or two of those haircut barbels exposed. We're going to secure it and we're going to leave that thread, I'm just cleaning that up a little bit. We're going to leave that thread at about half the distance to the eye. Now we could go ahead and take our hackle pliers and connect our hackle pliers and we're going to wind this. Now you can see there's a, you can see that one little hackle right there, that crew cut. And because of that, our first wrap we don't have any hackle barbels shooting towards the back and that's what we want we don't want any going towards the back okay so now there's one two maybe three wraps for this that three looks great then I'm gonna hold my hackle at the 90 degree from the hook shank I'm even leaving my hackle pliers on just lets it hang at the 90 degree and by doing that I'm not getting any hackle barbels shooting out towards the front and then I'll pull it back and wrap right up against it to pin it in there and then I can go ahead and take my poke and snip cuticle trimmer and trim that hackle stem now we have a nice wing I'm gonna go ahead and pull that one out that there we go that one that I nipped pulled out well you have a nice uh, stonefly hackle wing there now we're gonna take our whip finish put it put the hook over it go around the camel hump and now I'm going to flip my whip finish over and there is my X. Slide that X and then just rotate it three, four times, if you five, six times if you want. But usually three to five times is sufficient. Tighten that up and you can feel it actually tightening. Get the poke and snip again. Take our head cement clean our brush off really good and put some head cement right on that head and usually I don't go all the way around I just get a little bit on the top and now you can see this hackle because I gave it that crew cut and left one exposed there's no hackle barbell shooting towards the back and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about and because I let it stay at a 90 degree at the front 90 degree from the hook shank there's nothing sticking forward if you go if you go ahead and hold your hackle this way you're gonna get barbell shooting forward you want to keep it that way so I hope that you learned something from this video I hope that you would subscribe to my channel please refer me to your friends Please visit my sponsors, let them know I sent you. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase this or any flies I make, go to etsy.com slash shop slash flymanjim. And if you don't see it on my page, just send me a message and let me know what you're looking for. And we'll figure it out. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.